on to Proverbs 17. Um, I am going to do Proverbs 17 too. And again, my kids are out playing and who knows who can burst through the doors. But I thought, um, the quiet moment seems to be continuing. So I'm going to just go for Proverbs 17 right now. Um, again, it, this Proverbs has 28 verses in it. And again, get your journal out or however you want to put down uh, the verses that speak to you. And again, I encourage you, whatever verse really speaks to you, to take that time to go back and um, just spend time with the Lord on it and meditate on it and maybe write it out or um, whatever it is. Um, just be blessed to get God's Word in. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for Proverbs 17. We know in here are so many truths, Lord, and uh, for just what we need today, Lord, just speak to our hearts, and um, thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> My husband doesn't know I'm doing this right now, so if he comes in, he'll probably be shocked. But anyway, here we go. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this done. Um, I hear him coming. His footsteps are closer. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, Proverbs 17, verse 1, it says, Better is a dry morsel with quietness than a house full of feasting with strife. That totally speaks to me. <laughs> um, well, I'm not going to get into that one. Why? But it totally does. All right. Verse 2, a wise servant will rule over a son who causes shame and will share in the inheritance among the brothers. Verse 3, the refining pot is for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tests the hearts. Right? God knows us so in and out, so good. I like what David said, search me and try me and see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way of everlasting. God knows our hearts better than we know ourselves. So it's always good to get a, a God gauge on that. You know, ask him, Lord, how do you think I'm doing? <laughs> you know? Anyway, the good thing is he loves us so much, and um, he's good to help show us where we need healing for sure. All right, verse 4. An evildoer gives heed to false lips. A liar listens eagerly to a spiteful tongue. Verse 5. He who mocks the poor reproaches his maker, and he who is glad at calamity will not go unpunished. Verse 6, children's children are a crown of old men, and the glory of children is their father. Verse 7, um, that's kind of a cool verse for Father Day, Father's Day, Father Day. <laughs> um, children's children are a crown of the old man, and the glory of children is the father. Verse 7, excellent speech is not becoming to a fool much less lying lips to a prince. Verse 8, A present is a precious stone in the eyes of its possessor. Everywhere he turns, he prospers. Verse 9, He who covers a transgression seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates friends. Verse 10, Rebuke is more effective for a wise man then a hundred blows on a fool. Ooh. Verse 11. An evil man seeks only rebellion. Therefore a cruel messenger will be sent against him. Verse 12. Let a man meet a bear robbed of her cubs rather than a fool in his folly. Verse 13. Whoever rewards evil for good, evil will not depart from his house. Verse 14, the beginning of strife is like releasing water. Therefore, stop contention before a quarrel starts. This is so for my kids. <laughs> they're at this stage right now where they're just, it just seems like the quarrels erupt left and right. Verse 15, he who justifies the wicked and he who condemns the just, both of them alike are an abomination to the Lord. Verse 16. Why is there in the hand of the fool the purchased prize of wisdom? Since he has no heart for it. 
Verse 17. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. Verse 18. A man devoid of understanding shakes hands in a pledge and becomes surety for his friend. Verse 19. He who loves transgression loves strife, and he who exalts his gate seeks destruction. Verse 20. He who has a deceitful heart finds no good, and he who has a perverse tongue fails, sorry, falls into evil. He who has a perverse tongue falls into evil. Verse 21. He who begets a scoffer does so to sorrow, and the father of a fool has no joy. Verse 22. A merry heart does good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. Verse 23. The wicked man accepts a bribe behind the back to pervert the ways of the just. Verse 24, wisdom is in the sight of him who has understanding, but the eyes of the fool are on the ends of the earth. Verse 25, a foolish son is grief to his father and bitterness to her who bore him. Verse 26, also to punish the righteous is not good, nor to strike princes for their uprightness. Verse 27, he who has knowledge spares his words, and a man of understanding is of calm spirit. Verse 28, even a fool is counted wise when he holds his peace. <laughs> when he shuts his lips, he is considered percept perceptive. So basically, you know, you, I forget what somebody said um, about that that verse. Even a fool is counted wise when he holds his peace. You know, they said, oh, goodness, I, can, I can't think of how it goes, but it was funny. I remember laughing something like, um, you know, let people think how smart you are, just don't open your mouth or... Don't let people know that you're full. Just keep your mouth shut or don't let it ruin it by opening your mouth. I don't know what it is. Do you know what I'm talking about? There's a saying or something. Anyway, if you don't know, forgive me. Just just read the word of God. I'll tell you. Anyway, praise the Lord. There's a lot in here for me um, in the stage that I am. And uh, I hope that there's a scripture or two that you found helpful. And um, let me know if you want to. You don't have to, of course. But um, may you be blessed today in whatever you're doing. And take to heart um, the scriptures. They're here to guide us. They're here to lead us. And they're, they're here to cleanse our hearts, you know. Um, we're to be bearing fruit as, as Christians. And that fruit comes by the word of God. And keeping our roots healthy in his word and nourished and and let them change and transform us into the right manner. So we all fall. We all we all um, have difficult areas in our life. We have, you know, areas that need to be healed and, and forgiveness. And who knows? There's the gamut is so so wide. But God is the good God. He's the good Father who loves us, and He's the one that's perfecting it. Just like. The scripture says, he who begin a good work and you will be faithful to complete it. Amen to that. And uh, one day we will get to stand before him and we'll get to see him and we'll get to be with him. And we'll put off these bodies of corruption and put on the new body that he has for us. And oh, won't that be a wonderful day <laughs> when that happens. And until then... Um, this word helps to change us as we make our decisions and choices in life and um, so we aim to please him in all that we do so I, I pray that you're really getting blessed out of this and encourage that um, God loves you God has um, so much wisdom and so much truth that is just bound up in his word and in him and as you study his word you're getting to know his character and who he is and how much he loves you and cares about you and 
and he is the Abba Father who's watching over us. So <clears throat> let's take these things to heart. And uh, Lord, we thank you so much for Proverbs 17 and uh, letting us get through the Word of God, or that brings such um, beauty um, in our lives, even from the ashes, Lord. You're the only one that can take um, anything against us or anything that we've done wrong, and you're the transformer to make it good for our lives, and you're the only one that can do that, Lord. So we thank you for your forgiveness. We thank you for your mercy and your love and your truth, Lord, and um, just praise you. You're awesome. Thank you, Jesus, for being willing to come to this earth and uh, die and raise again to show us that you are God. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. So, get our handy-dandy calendar out. Proverbs 17. Yeah, we're going through it. Again, I can't <laughs> rotate my film. Whoops, look at that. Good job. Fourteen more, so stay tuned. You can do it. Walk, walking through the Proverbs. We've gone this far. Don't give up. Sometimes people are like, oh, I started that, but I didn't finish it. Finish it. Finish it. You can do it. So let's go through it so we can... Say that we have read through the Proverbs. Isn't that amazing? There's so many truths in here. All right. Be blessed. We will catch you back at Proverbs 18. It didn't stop. <laughs>